he's just the best. I remember when I used to watch the uh, the Madison Square Garden shows on USA, uh, or no, on uh, uh, the MSG network. And my favorite part, even before I was a ring announcer, my favorite part of the shows was right before the main event, Howard Fink would run down the card for next month. And he could make Bob Backlund defending the WWF title against the Samoan number two as the main event sound like it must see I gotta be there. He just had a way to build up the crowd, build up the, the momentum of, of, of what you're gonna see next that I'd never seen anybody do. Michael Buffer has a great one line, let's get ready to rumble. It's the American dream. I, I have always said, you know, people say, are you jealous that Michael Buffer, you know, made all this money and because he had a line. No, the American dream is you make up a line, you make it famous, you, you become a millionaire. Uh, you know, uh, but there was nobody better in building up the excitement of something that was either really exciting or really not exciting, but he made it seem exciting than Howard Finkel. I got, I've had gotten to meet Howard a couple of times. Howard's a true gentleman, and um, there's uh, no other ring announcer that I believe will be in the Hall of Fame, nor is there anybody else that deserves it as far as WWE goes. Do you think there's a chance because of how big of a part you were to WCW and now WWE owns all their footage that you may eventually be put in the WWE Hall of Fame? No, no, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you one better. Went to the Hall of Fame last year because Sting went in. And in the packages, Sting was the main guy. In the packages that they had, they used my introduction to Sting. So to me, that was my Hall of Fame. That was my chance of getting as close to that Hall of Fame as I'm ever gonna get, to have my introduction of an iconic wrestler who was the headliner of the Hall of Fame. I went because I wanted to see Sting go in, but I went also because I felt like that was as close as I was ever gonna get. And you know what, I'm absolutely fine with it. I don't think I deserve it. Uh, I, I would bet you every dime I've ever had and ever will that it's not gonna happen. Uh, they might put Lillian Garcia in, uh, they seem to like Lillian, and, and Lillian's a nice lady. Um, I have my doubts, but they might, but I don't see them putting any other ring announcers in, in uh, the Hall of Fame. I think Howard Finkel stands alone, and I think it's fitting that he stands alone, quite frankly.